All right, so sometimes people are looking for more natural ways of controlling acid reflux. One way of doing this is with apple cider vinegar. And the theory behind it is that there is some acid in vinegar, it's called acetic acid, and it's not as strong or not as a potent acid as straight hydrochloric acid, which is in our stomach. So we, may, we do need the acid, but what this does is it lowers the pH, but not as strongly as stomach hydrochloric acid. So you still have enough acid to help with digesting the food, for sanitizing the food, but not too much acid so that you're causing heartburn symptoms or the reflux symptoms. And the recipe for it is basically two to three tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, which is about 10 to 15 milliliters in an eight ounce glass of water. I have some patients that'll come, will tell me that's what they take and that's what they like and is that okay? And it's perfectly fine if, if that's what they like. Because I think you do need some acid and the problem with taking the proton pump inhibitors is it blocks all the acids so you don't have any acid. So they're saying that blocking this total acid, you're really not sanitizing our foods, so you're increasing your incidence of infectious diseases or uh, food poisoning. Um, you do need acid in order to um, help with minerals so some people um, think that you know they're losing calcium and they're changing the magnesium absorption or calcium absorption or the magnesium absorption so they think that by totally blocking it you're you may be running the risk of bone disease and osteoporosis um, hip fractures so there's more um, lean towards maybe trying these products, trying the apple cider vinegar so that you reduce the acid enough that you reduce your symptoms of reflux, but you don't block the acid completely. So you're still absorbing your nutrients and your minerals and your vitamins um, and still able to sanitize and digest your food.